from 59 to 6. Now the school board is set to narrow down the applicant pool even more in their search for a new superintendent. And before the board makes a final decision, it's asking you to weigh in. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is in the Newsplex with a list of the candidates. Catherine? That's right, Adam. APS officials say the board's looking for a candidate who meets a number of qualifications. They say there are a lot of concerns surrounding public education from testing to morale. That's why they say they're taking their time in selecting the district's next leader. Who has the best vision? Who has the most experience? Who can come in, uh, you know, hit the ground running and start making a difference for the students and staff? APS spokesperson Monica Armenta says there are two candidates from New Mexico, two from Texas, and two from California left in the running. Let's break down that list of six semifinalists. Veronica Garcia, she's the executive director of New Mexico Voices for Children and the former New Mexico Public Education Department Secretary. Amudina Abieta is the deputy superintendent for teaching and learning for Santa Fe Public Schools. Michael Cordona is the chief school officer for Houston Independent Schools in Texas. Angelica Ramsey is the chief academic officer for Santa Clara County Office of Education. That's in California. Rolanda Trevino is the superintendent for the Lockhart Independent School District in Texas. And finally, Louis Valentino is the associate superintendent for San Francisco United School District. Now you'll have a chance to meet the three sem or three finalists rather today once the board narrows down their pool. The first public forum is tonight at 6 at APS headquarters. Others for students and staff, businesses and government officials are on Friday, but anyone is welcome to attend those too. For more information, we set up a link on careqe.com under careqe links. Back to you. All right, Catherine, thank you. The board is scheduled to choose the new superintendent on Saturday.